So you can find a comfortable position. You can do this in a chair or the edge of the couch or the edge of your bed. But if you're in a chair, make sure it's a chair without arms because we're gonna need a little bit of space. And when you arrive, just place your feet down onto the ground, the hands in the lap. And then feel free to close your eyes, just settle in. You can keep the eyes closed or you can just look down at the earth. And then as you're just arriving, start to notice your physical body. Notice where your body is in space with your eyes closed. Notice the points of contact you're making with the ground, with the chair. See if you can sit up a little bit taller, opening up through the chest. And then we're going to start breathing together. So as you inhale through the nose, we're going to lift the fingertips up. So stretch the fingertips up. And then as you exhale, we're going to drop the pinky finger, ring, middle, index, and thumb. So a nice slow movement. We're gonna inhale, lift the fingers up. You can keep the palms down on the lap. And then slow, blow the air out through the mouth as you drop the fingers down. Just getting a little bit of mind and body activation. Inhale, lift the fingers. Nice and slow, lowering the fingers down. Take three more breath cycles like this. Inhale, lifting the fingers. Exhale, slow down the breath. Last one. And then we'll place our palms together. And then we're going to rub our hands together to feel a little bit of warmth, create a little bit of friction. And then open up the hands like you're holding on to a little ball and notice if you can feel the energy, maybe the vibration here. If you can't, give a little another rub here. Create some heat and warmth, feel that energy and then take that energy wherever you need it. So maybe today it's your heart, your mind, maybe your hip, your knee. Place the hands and we'll take a breath in here. Exhale, sigh it out. And then release the hands down. We can blink open our eyes and we'll begin. We'll start by inhale, reaching our arms up towards the sky. Exhale, slowly bring the hands down through the heart center. If your shoulders are bothering you at all, you can come forward and then back into center if that feels better. Nice. Breathing in to lift and stretch up. Exhale, blow the air out as you come down. Beautiful. Three more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach and rise. Maybe wiggle the fingers at the top. Send a little energy and draw down. Nice. One more time. Big breath in. Stretch up. And exhale, down. Great. Now we'll begin our manual lymph drainage routine. So we're going to open up all the major lymph nodes in the body, but we're going to start with that warm up routine that we did earlier. So take your hands to the chest, about five to 10 circles in this area. So you can close your eyes and breathe. You can always do this one hand at a time as well. Soften through the face, just stimulating the central drain here. And then glide your hands up to the neck. You can do heels of the hands together and pump the fluid down. Or you can keep them crossed and just draw the fluid down. About five to ten strokes in each area is sufficient. And then we'll come to the shoulders. Stretch the skin of the shoulders into a little circular stretch as you pump the elbows. 
soften through the eyes. Good, and then release the hands for a moment. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it out. And then we'll start to wake up the large areas of lymph nodes. So we're gonna start in our armpits. So you have about 20 to 40 lymph nodes here. So place your hand nice and flat. You're gonna pump in towards the breast and chest. So you're gonna have this kind of rhythmic kind of motion, just pumping, almost like you're kneading dough here. And then come to the other side. You can either keep the arm down or you can lift it up. This is really good if you have swelling in your arm or your breast or chest area or your armpit. Nice. And then we're gonna to come to the inner elbow. So you have lymph nodes in the inner elbow called your cubital fossa. You're gonna place your hand flat and you're gonna pump up towards the shoulder. Think of kind of like a little rainbow or a little C motion kind of pumping up, just stretching the skin. And then come to the other side. So with us waking up all these areas of lymph nodes, it helps to move the fluid faster encourage more drainage to occur and then we're going to take our fingers like we're playing the piano and we're going to come right along here at the sternum and we're just going to tap 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 along here just waking up the lymph nodes here if you have a port or any um anything here just avoid that just go lower and then we'll take those piano fingers right below our rib cage and we'll just start to gently massage here if we can release any tension from the rib cage and the fascia through here, will help us to breathe a little deeper. And then relax the arms for a moment. Give the arms a little bit of a rest. Take a breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then we'll take our left hand across to our right, right below our rib cage, and we're just going to do five circles here. So this will really help if you're feeling any type of abdominal bloating or discomfort here. And then the other side, right hand comes across and you're just making these circles. Good. And you can kind of explore a little bit here too. Notice what feels good. And then we'll take our thumbs to right around where the belly button, the navel is. And then almost like you're making a little triangle here. So that the pinkies are right near the hip bones you might need to sit back a little bit to give a little bit more room and we're going to take the hands and you're going to pump towards the belly button here so creating some circular pumps massaging here at the hips this is good to help the lower body drainage then you come to the sides of the hips give a little massage here maybe the back and then if you're able to reach it, we'll go behind the knee. So cup your hands like this, and then you're going to kind of pump towards your hips. So hands underneath the knees. You can also cross it out and just kind of pump, pump, pump. Or if you have a step stool, that will help you too. So there's lymph nodes behind the knees here. Papatia fossa. And then we'll go to the other side. So this is good if you have any foot swelling or foot discomfort. And then come on back up. So you just did it. That's the awakening or the stimulating of all the major lymph nodes. And now we're going to engage in a full body practice to move the vessels to move the fluid out. So we'll start by placing our feet down about hip distance apart, hands to the knees, and then inch your way forward. Sit up nice and tall. And we're going to take cat and cow. So inhale, draw your chin and your chest forward, broaden through the chest. And then as you exhale, slowly tuck the chin and round and curl and contract the low belly. Inhale as you pull yourself forward, nice. And then exhale as you round. I'll, I'll move my body to the side so you can see what I'm doing. But as I'm inhaling, my pelvis is tilting back, my chest is opening. And then as I'm exhaling, I'm rounding. If you'd like, you can reach your arms forward on this exhale to give a little bit more opening through the back. Let's take three more at your own pace. Breathing in, coming forward. And exhale as you round. You can reach the fingers forward, maybe wiggle them. 
chest opening positions, core contraction positions really help to move this fluid in the center of the body. Helps to support all our vital organs. And then we'll come back to center. And then we're gonna slowly come over that right thigh, center, left thigh, and then back and around. So big circle. So this is really good if you are feeling constipated or if you have a lot of bloating or fluid stuck in your belly, this will help to move. Also really good for creating power. So this here is our solar plexus chakra, so our area of feeling in control or power. Nice. And then reverse the circle when you're ready, going nice and slow, just moving to the rate of your breath. Just taking it easy. Nice job, everyone. Good. And then we'll come back up to center. Pause. Take a breath. Exhale. Let it out. <sighs> and then we'll slowly drop the chin towards the chest, letting the back of the neck press. And then slowly lifting the gaze back up. And we'll drop right ear, right shoulder. Make sure to keep the shoulders relaxed. Try not to hike that right shoulder up and then back to center and then we'll drop left ear to left shoulder take a breath here and then coming back to center we'll draw our shoulders up towards our ears back and down inhale bring the shoulders up 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 back and down and if you'd like you can swim the arms with this so as the shoulders come up Bring the arms up and add the shoulders come down. So imagine you're kind of swimming through maybe a beautiful lake or the ocean, or maybe if you have a pool. Swimming is also a really good way to improve lymphatic health because the water adds resistance. Nice job, everyone. And then coming back to center, hands to the thighs, relax your body for a moment. Then we're gonna inhale, bring the arms out to the sides, thumbs pointing up. We're gonna inhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale, spread the fingers, push the walls away as you draw the hands all the way down. Nice. Inhale, lift the arms up. Maybe you give a little clap, clap at the top, and then push the walls away. Awesome. Three more. Inhale, lifting up. Give yourself a little clap and then exhale, lower. Breathe in to lift. Little clap, exhale. Last one, breathe in, lift. Clap, clap, exhale, lower. Nice, hands to the thighs. We're gonna slide the left hand down the leg as the right hand peels back, and we're gonna take a little trunk rotation. So inhale as you come back to center, and then exhale, twist to the other side. If your spine does not like twisting, then you can just stay here and just kind of rock side to side, but if your spine is okay with this, maybe you go a little bit deeper. Exhaling as you twist. It's really good to keep the spine mobile, also helping to move the fluid centrally. Take one more time to each side. And then we'll place our elbows by our sides, thumbs facing up. And then we're gonna inhale, reach our arms forward. And then exhale, make tight fists as you draw the elbows into the side ribs. Good. Inhale, reach forward, spread the fingers, wiggle the fingers. Exhale, pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Nice. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, really good one for your posture. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale. One more, breathe and reach. Exhale, and then palms facing up. We're gonna find a little bit more chest and heart opening. We're gonna inhale, keep the elbows glued in. We're gonna open up the book. 
and then exhale, draw the pinkies just to kiss or touch. Inhale, opening up, squeezing the shoulder blades. Nice. Exhale, coming back in. Inhale to open. Exhale. One more time. And then soften through the hands. And then we'll lift the arms all the way up. And imagine that a rope is coming from the sky. And we're going to reach one hand and then the other. Maybe we have some firefighters in the group. <laughs> reach up, reach up, feel the expansion in the side ribs. This helps to open up our intercostal muscles, helps us to breathe better. Notice how it feels. Reaching, reaching, and then soften down, relaxing the hands down. And then we're going to draw the right knee into the chest. If you can't quite grab it, you can always use a dish towel or a sweater to hold on to, to hold the thigh up like this. But from here, we're just going to find some circular movements. So you can hold on to the towel or you can hold on to behind the leg or interlace at the shin. So many options, but sit up nice and tall if you're here. This is really helpful to massage the inguinal and pelvic lymph nodes here. Nice. And then drop that down and we'll lift the other leg, lifting the left leg again. So whatever position feels good, just finding some circular movements. It can go forward and back, whatever feels nourishing and comforting for you. And then dropping that leg back, we'll shift back to the right. Hands underneath the leg, the hamstring this time. Sit up nice and tall and we're gonna inhale, stretch that right leg forward, flex the toes back towards your face and then point the toes and then slowly lower. Inhale, stretch that leg forward. It's okay if you wanna keep a bend in the knee, just go to whatever you can, and then slowly lower. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, stretch that leg out, bring the toes back. This is also an abdominal exercise, and then slowly lower. You're probably like, yeah, I know, I feel it. <laughs> Inhale, reach the leg forward, last time and then drop it down. Then before we transition to the other side, let's move our legs, widen the legs here. Toe was pointed out, and we're just gonna glide down one side, and then inhale back to center and glide down the other. Noticing maybe the stretch in the hips, in the sides of the hips, in the side body. Awesome, and then bring the feet back together. We'll grab a hold of that left leg, interlace the hands underneath, or grab that towel. Hold on, and sit up nice and tall, engage the lower abdominals. And then inhale, stretch that leg forward, flex the toes back towards your face, and then exhale, point the toes and bend the knee. Nice, three more times. Inhale, stretch out, bring the toes back. Exhale, point and lower. Sit up nice and tall. Good, breathe in. And breathe out. Last one, breathe in, stretch forward. And exhale, lower down. Open up the legs again wide. And then from here, we're going to place our hands to the thighs. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, drop the left shoulder down. Inhale back to center and then drop the right shoulder. One more time, each side back to center, drop it down. Inhale, center, and exhale, drop. And then coming back to center, bring those feet in together. And then from here, inch your feet out a little bit further. And then we're going to inhale, reach the arms up. And as you do this, Lift the heels up, and then as you exhale, drop the hands down, drop the heels down, and lift the toes up. So as you lift the arms, lift the heels coming onto the tippy toes, and then as you lower, drop the heels, drop the hands, and lift those toes. Good. Two more. Inhale, lift, full body. 
exhale lower the heels lower the arms lift the toes good last one you got this breathe in lift engage and exhale lower and drop this time we're going to lift the left arm up and lift the right knee up and then slowly exhale lower inhale right arm left knee and then slowly lower so opposite sorry i might have messed you up inhale lifting the left arm right knee exhale dropping down this helps to balance our hemispheres getting both sides of the body to move good one more time on each side you got this breathe in lift exhale lower breathe in lift and exhale lower nice job hands to the thighs take a breath for yourself let it out and then we're going to open up the legs a little bit wider here we're going to take one more full body movement so take your hands like you're holding on to a beach ball kind of a medium-sized beach ball we're going to take that beach ball up overhead and then exhale slowly we're going to draw that beach ball down towards the right towards the center up the left and up towards the sky so breathe in here big breath exhale slowly lower and then as you climb back up you can breathe in and as you exhale you can lower breathe in to lift nice job exhale and then when you come back up to the top stretch up here and then we're going to reverse down the left exhale inhale as you climb up the right exhale lower breathe in feel your whole body engaged inhale lifting exhale lowering last one and then as you lift all the way up stay here and then hands come down to heart center and pause notice the increase of blood flow lymph flow energy moving through you catch your breath connect with your heart breathe in and out then we'll release our hands down to the legs bring the feet back in and then last little movement or exercise together what we'll do is a little bit of a proprioception or awakening movement so we're going to start to just gently tap along our legs inside of the thighs outside the knees the shins the feet if you can touch it but just give a little bit of tap 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 this is a really good body awareness exercise it also helps with neuropathy helps to improve blood flow helps to give the brain and the mind something else to think about besides discomfort come to the lower belly maybe come to the side of the hips tap 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 the belly to the chest down one arm down the other To the chest then my favorite part come to the top of the head tap 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 along the face the jaw the chest the shoulders and then start to just ease the arms down and find a comfortable seat where you feel like you can start to relax just for the last few minutes here together maybe noticing the energy moving through you maybe it feels like a little bit of a glittery wake up for the body but just place the palms into the lap palms facing up if that feels good close your eyes just let your body settle and then give yourself permission to just be here for the next few minutes to be here for your own self healing healing from the inside out just allow yourself to collect and enforce all the benefits of that movement breath work and lymph flow that you just accomplished 
Notice how the breath is moving in and out. Take a slow breath in for a count of three. And then a slow exhale for a count of five. Breathe in for three. And breathe out for five. In your mind, you can say, I try my best. Exhale and I release the rest. Inhale, I try my best. Exhale and I release the rest. Feeling a wave of relaxation, comfort, and support over you. Fill your body with hope, love, joy. And then we'll start to wiggle our fingers and our toes. And then last time together, we'll inhale, reach our arms up towards the sky. Hands come down through heart center, thumbs connect with the heart space. Give this area a little massage here with your knuckles. And then we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Thank you all so much for practicing.